FHA. All right, a couple instances where FHA wouldn't be allowed as a condo unit, okay? And, uh, and, and in that case, FHA may not be, be available. This is another one where I'm gonna go look at maybe the last four or five listings. Right, that's my, my first one. I'm gonna go look at the last four or five listings and see if there's any discrepancy. If everything has FHA included, I'm not gonna worry about it, right? But if there's maybe one of the five or two of the five that doesn't have FHA, it's gonna get a red flag in my mind that, hey, maybe FHA isn't included. And then there's a website you can go to to search. Remember, if anybody's here, Kyle from Wintrust has that website that you can go and say, hey, is this FHA approved or is it not FHA approved? Okay? And you could go there right away too. But in a condo unit, that might be why something wouldn't be FHA. Okay. The other piece here is a contract. If you have a seller that's an investor or open to selling on contract, you can put that there. All right. Um, and then there's, you know, there's some other ones here. Um, but, but USDA is going to be more in a rural situation. I think Polk City. I'm not sure if they've gotten rid of it yet. They should at this point probably, but Polk City for a long time has USDA available. Jenny, do you know? If there's, they were for a while. They shouldn't qualify if they still do. Bondurant still does. And those are going to be, at some point, those will fall off. But yes, those, those would be situations where USD might fall in there. Okay. Style, pretty simple, right? What's the style of the house? Exterior, a couple things to keep in mind. Most exteriors in our market are going to be cement board, brick, metal siding is, is a vinyl siding, right? So if you've got vinyl siding, metal siding is the box you're going to check there. All right. If there's some stone on the exterior, because you can you can see here, you can check for max, right? So if you've got stone and some other ones, cement board is going to stand for hardy plank siding and LP siding. Even though LP siding is not technically cement. That's the box that we use for for LP siding. It's it, and this is a this is a a DMAR form. So I don't know why DMAR hasn't gone in and clarified this a little bit more, but they haven't, right? So at this point, cement board or metal is going to be your standard one, All right? If you have questions on that, let us know, right? Square footages are going. Oh, go ahead. Square footages are going to be uh, above grade square footage, and you're going to find that on the assessor site. Basement square footage should be there as well, and then basement finished square footage. So these, if you can't, if it's not there, if it's if there's no basement finished square foot, you don't need to put zero. You can just leave it empty. All right. The two is pertaining to the lot. You're usually going to see the lot square footage and the lot acres are the two that are filled out. I never worry about the lot dimensions. I don't even really know what you would put there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can, and I, I just don't even mess with it, right? Um, you can if you want, but I've never have. Okay. So auction is it an auction? No. All right. In in our case, we're probably never going to have an auction, so that's always going to be no. I actually always leave these blank. You can you can go in and check these as far as style of the house. I never worry about it, but you're more than welcome to try and dissect what style of house you're listing. Okay. You're built REO. Is it a short sale, foreclosure, pre-foreclosure? All right. Something like that, you would check yes. But most of the time we're going to check no on that. FSBOA. All right. So this is a little odd. We're never going to have yes on this one. But an FSBOA is basically stating like my neighbor did. Remember when I talked about my neighbor? that he basically is working with forsalebyowner.com and they partnered with a real estate agent that took $400 to just list it on the MLS. That would notify a buyer's agent that we're technically a forsalebyowner.com just working through an agent, okay? We shouldn't even have this on the MLS. It's bullshit that it is, but that's a different topic for a different day, all right? But just know that we'll always be no on that. If you are uh, if you are listing a fairly new home or a a home that you feel like would benefit from listing the builder, like 
there's a couple builders in Ankeny that you could say Kimberly resale, um, MJ home or MJ properties resale, caliber resale. If you feel like this house would benefit from the builder that built it, Strand is another one. Like if you see it's a Strand resale, straight hand Strand, um, that's good, right? I mean that that carries a lot of weight in our market. You could list that there. If you don't feel like the builder's name is a positive thing or you want to disclose that it's it's out there right but more often than not you're not listing the builder's name on a resale unless you feel like it's going to benefit the situation right however if you're listing new construction that's where you would list the builder right if you had ever pick up a new construction and you'd also check the box new construction here completed date this is for reading the mls as well as anything you would potentially list you would just put the complete the, the projected completion date on there as well. Okay. All right. Garage. Pretty simple. What do you have? I've always, one of these is spelled wrong. And every time I do it, I look at it. I, I, I look, maybe it's not anymore. It used to be. Anyway, you got one car, two car, three car attached, detached, right? Just make sure you get the right garage thing there. If you want to go farther and do the garage square footage, you can. Not, not completely necessary. necessary. Garage parking stalls as well. I usually just check mark this over here. Street feature, we're generally going to be concrete. All right. If for some reason you've got gravel or asphalt, there you go. But most of them are going to be a concrete street feature. Sewer is going to be city or septic. Um, or if for some reason you're in kind of a community in the country, there may be a community sewer that a couple of the houses are on. Okay. Electric. Again, you're going to find these on the assessor site. The electric's generally going to be gas forced air. Okay. Air conditioning is going to be generally central air, unless you've got a geothermal setup. All right. I would argue that attic fan is not a form of air conditioning, but they have it here. Right. Foundation now. Our new houses are going to be poured foundation, brick or concrete foundation. Concrete is going to be the uh, concrete bricks that are in the older houses. Brick is actually your brick. If you come across a foundation that is brick, that would, that's what that would be. All right. Again, we've, we've found some wood foundations in this market. I uh, rolled across an $800,000 house over here that I was, I all but had sold or all but had an offer written up before we realized it was a wood foundation. Again, right, right in your neck of the woods. Uh, it was an awesome house, wood foundation. Mm -hmm. Yep. And if you talk to an inspector, they're like, never had an issue with a wood foundation. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, and that's why, right? You 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 run into the standard. I'm not. It's not common, so I'm scared of it, right? But um, it's not like they just have wood in the in the dirt, right? I mean, they they surround it. I think they have a membrane, a rubber membrane. I'm not exactly sure how it all works, but the wood's protected. What's that? It sounded really official. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so if you would come across that and that's just a heads up too, that I overlooked that and the buyer found it and I would have looked like a baboon if we had an, an accepted offer and I didn't ex disclose that we had a wood foundation. So luckily, luckily the buyer found it and we talked through it. So that's a case where it's never bad to just look through and see if there's any discrepancies that that might catch you off guard okay it was on the assessor site they were looking through some of the assessor stuff and it was listed on the assessor site actually let me back up i gave them i gave them a feature sheet and the feature sheet had it <coughs> yep so again good good thing to just overlook everything right um, driveway standards going to be concrete and our market is concrete. What was Michigan? What were Michigan driveways? Were they asphalt or concrete? 
concrete up in Minnesota, very common for asphalt driveways. So, but again, in, in this market, it's, it's mostly concrete. Water. City, community, rural, well, so similar to the sewer, they're probably gonna, gonna match up with the waters there. Trim can be a tough one, all right? If it's painted, it's pretty easy to paint. If it's not, you gotta try and dial down what type of wood it is, and I'm not really a woodworker, so I struggle with that a little bit. Right? Agree. <laughs> Because I guarantee that I've accidentally checked the wrong one trying to guess at what the trim is. The biggest thing is it's either paint or wood, right? And I'm su I'm surprised that they haven't really just nailed down that it's wood, stained. right? Stained or wood, yeah, yeah. Stained trim or, or painted trim. But. You probably could leave it blank if it's not painted. Um, no, I don't think anybody's going to come after you and be like, they didn't disclose that the trim was, was cherry, right? Because they're going to they're gonna see the photos of the house. But We'll get that one person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. I also think it's funny that you can have six checked. Like, why six? <laughs> um, key source, all right, in town, all right, it's going to be natural gas. If you're on an acreage or you have propane, this is a big one. Also, heads up, because if you if you disclose that your heat source is propane, but you also disclose that it's it's uh, owned, all right, this could potentially refer to the propane in the tank, all right, that you obviously bought, right? But then this also could this is why there's a little confusion here could refer to the tank. And sometimes tanks are leased versus versus bought. And this can become a major thing when you're buying an acreage. So I would argue that when you're buying an acreage, whether you're listing or buying, if you're if you're selling, please list in the comments, make it very clear if that propane tank is owned or leased. Because there's been more than more than I can count on my hands of ish transactions that have happened. They're like, well, we thought we owned the tank, but apparently the co-op does, and we have to we have to pay to lease the tank, right? And then that can be a not necessarily a lawsuit, but there's many of money that have changed hands after transactions because the propane tank wasn't wasn't uh, correctly disclosed, if that makes sense. Okay, basement. All right, what have you got here? You've got. Uh, are you on a slab? All right. Do you have? Uh, just a crawl space, daylight windows, egress windows, are you finished basement, unfinished? Most More often than not, you're just checking finished or unfinished, right? Um, but uh, you can check a couple there too, right? Are you walk out, egress windows, right? That type of thing. So make sure you've got that correct. Fireplaces, what do you got for fireplaces? Is there a fireplace? Yes, how many fireplaces, all right? Are they electric? Are they wood? This is where it can get a little wrong too, because like not wrong, but if you have two fireplaces and one is direct vent gas, and then you added a second fireplace that is electric, all right, um, you can check both of them, okay? But you put the number of of gas or fireplaces there. Okay. Do you have any handicap features? All right. What's the roof? Is it asphalt? More often than not, it's asphalt. But if you've got wood signals or something else out there. Occupied by owner, tenant, vacant. Okay, how to show? Generally, I'm just putting showing time. All right, you can you can do this other stuff. What this is one max though. All right, so I'm just putting how to use showing time for appointment. I don't even know why they have use lockbox here. Sometimes if you don't need an appointment, you can just use the lockbox. That's why you would put that. But even if you are vacant, I still want to know when someone has something scheduled. Right. I'm always putting you showing time. This is a box you can check if sellers request showing to identified buyers only. We haven't talked a lot about this in this brokerage, but there is a DMAR form that that basically says on the listing side, if you require that that um, all agents have identification of the person that you're showing the house to. Okay. I think what they're trying to avoid here is obviously 
meeting someone at the house for the first time. All right. Even though that happens. All right. Even though that's out there, I've done it myself. Right. Um, but it's basically making sure that that person is not only someone that ha has an ID, right? Someone you're, you're aware of, but two, are they, are they someone that's pre-approved or are they someone that's ready to go?